Oi. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for all the parents out there who are eager to teach their kid to ride a bike. But what to do is your little one a bit clumsy? No worries, I did it, you can do this too. For those who are new on my channel, I'll give you a little bit background. My name is Lisa, a proactive mom of Michael, who was born prematurely at 25 weeks gestational age, weighing just 1 pound 5 ounces. As a toddler, he had extremely bad balance and coordination and was tripping over and over and falling every couple of minutes. But this didn't stop me. I did my research and started right away. The first step in teaching your little one to ride a bike is to buy a proper bike. For little ones, balance bike is must have. I bought Strider bike for my son when he was about three years old. Important to mention that he started walking only at two years and two months old. Usually you can go ahead and purchase balance bike when your kid is two years old or even a bit younger. Next step is safety gear. A helmet that fits properly on child's head and not covering eyes is a must. And I highly suggest also gloves, as a clumsy child will fall a lot because his balance, coordination and proprioception skills are still only developing. By practicing it becomes better, I promise. However, be ready for lots of falls, just make a fun of it and encourage to try again. With gloves it's less chance of scratching the kid's palms when falling, so we're just increasing level of child's happening and willingness to try again and again. My son's first gloves I bought in big store, not sure about the brand, however I know Zipiru's brand offers a variety of quality gloves for even the smallest hands. Also important to remember, even in the hottest weather, put on long pants to avoid scratching the knees or buy very comfy and soft knee pads. Before first attempt of riding, adjust the seat. Your child should stand over it with both feet firmly on the ground, but make sure it's not too low. A correctly fitted balanced bike allows the seat height to be set one to one and a half inch less than a child and seam, measured with down shoes on. First, let your little one to try just walking with it without losing balance. Then encourage to sit and move the legs slowly. The next step is to help your toddler practice walking and striding with the bike. Show them how to push off with their feet and glide along. Once your toddler is comfortable walking and striding, it's time to introduce a gentle slope. Find a slight incline in a safe and open area, such as a park or quiet street. The slope will help them to get a feel of for balance and momentum. I know it sounds scary, but this exercise is essential for a child to understand that he can move fast with a bike and it's super fun. Remind them to keep their eyes forward and focus on balancing. This will help them beat their core strength and coordination. Practice, practice, practice. The only way to succeed. Give your child plenty of space and time to explore the new toy and learn running on the bike and balancing. Take it everywhere with you. It is very light, like not like traditional tricycles that are heavy and just impossible to carry around. I mentioned earlier that the brand I purchased was Strider. I was very satisfied, non-expensive, light and very sturdy. But if you want to explore more options, I recommend going to website Two Willing Tots and checking out their posts. I'm sure you will find them very useful. Next step, when you feel your child is ready for pedaling, make yourself a favor and buy a womb bike. It is extremely lightweight and comfortable bike. You remove pedals, let your child to use it as a balance uh, bike first, to get used to it, to practice balancing with legs off the ground and only after a certain period of time, depending on the child's skills and confidence, reattach pedals and set a new goal, holding balance and pedaling. For my son, the concept of pedaling was extremely confusing. His feet just didn't want to stay on the pedals and slid off all the time. He couldn't coordinate two feet pushing on the pedals simultaneously. It doesn't come naturally for all kids. 
In this case, he learned pedaling during physical therapy using a small 12-inch uh, bike with training wheels. It is not ideal to introduce kids to training wheels, but in some cases it is needed just for their bodies to remember the action of pedaling. Going back to womb bike, I bought womb too when my son was almost four and a half, I think. He enjoyed it as balance bike and only after five or six months I reattached pedals and then miracle happened. It took just two days, 10 minutes um, practice every day to pedal by himself without losing balance. First day I held his t-shirt tightly, allowing him to ride by himself, but at the same time providing stability and guiding him. I also constantly reminded my son to practice using handbrakes when he needed to stop. Next day I did the same and at one moment I let it go and he just kept pedaling and balanced by himself. I had tears in my eyes. One more milestone was achieved. Pedal. Not so fast, not so fast. Pedaling, pedaling. Something I almost forgot to mention, if your child's bike has handbrakes, make sure to follow manufacturer's instructions and replace the coaster hub with free wheel hub. I'll attach an article on this topic in the description down below. Coaster brake may confuse uh, especially uncoordinated child and instead of moving forward will be stopping frequently because of this feature. Let me give you two last important tips. First, make the process of riding as fun as possible so it won't feel like a chore. I always tell Michael Let's go find a secret path by taking him to another street, another park, just to change locations and let them explore. And also you should let a child understand that riding bike is a way of moving from one place to another. Riding from playground to the soccer field at the same park so he can run, uh, take a break. Uh, for example, also from home riding to the closest bench just to sit and rest. It makes riding more adventurous when there is a place in mind to find and stop by. Come on, ready! Tip number two, always show your support, cheer and praise kids for their efforts. Always give them a sense of accomplishment and boost their self-esteem. To conclude today's video, with the right equipment, practice and supportive environment, your child, even if has some balance issues, will learn to ride a bike sooner than you think. I hope you liked this video, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.